Hello, Christina. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Thanks, Miss Howard. It's good to see you. It's been a while. It has. And I heard that you were in the hospital, so I decided to bring you some things to help make your stay a little more pleasant. Hopefully. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Hmm? Did my dad put you up to this? To convince you that he's this good guy? Because we both know that he's not. I want to talk about my daughter's health and yours. Thomas, your father knows nothing about it, and I don't think he would use me to burnish his image. And if you ever tried anything like that, I promise I would tell you the truth. Good to know. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. No, not at all. Just happy to see you smile. Go ahead, tear into it. Wow, these are high-end cosmetics. Oh, yeah, uh, the earrings are compliments of a new advertiser's accessory line. Mm. Oh, my God, and a new smartphone? <laughs> I can't take all this. Of course you can. One of the banes of being the editor of Crimson is that I get inundated with gifts from clients. Can't possibly use all of that, so... Happy to give it to someone who I know will appreciate it. Wow, well, I don't know what to say. Well... I saved the best for last. It's the November issue, and you are actually one of the first people to see that. Uh, it doesn't come out for a couple more weeks. This is so cool. Thank you. I, I can't tell you how much I love your magazine. Like, I'm addicted. Mm -hmm. You know, from the clothes to the models. My mom just rolls her eyes. My friend Taylor, he says that I should be a model, but as if that would ever happen. Well, it's nice to have people around who believe in you. Something my dad's running out of. Do you still talk to him? Okay, relax. You operate on my daughter, she, she comes out of it unable to walk. You better hope she recovers, you understand me? Back off. Hey. Your brother screwed up the surgery. Patrick, you know he did. There's not a surgeon in this hospital that would have done a better job, including me. I'm gonna go see my patient. Just want to see my daughter. No, That's sonny, I'm not done with you. Get your hands off of me. I'm not done with you. Control, Sonny. First you bring it into my home and you attack my family. Now you bring it into my hospital. Attacking the surgeon that just saved your daughter's mobility? You looking out, you looking out for the hospital or are you doing damage control for your little brother, Patrick? Well, I don't want to tire you out by staying too long. No. If you like, I could call your mother. No, please stay. Yeah, unless you have to go, and I completely understand. Your brother's not for a string here. He had no business operating on Christina. He was in way over his head. Matt you found know him, that. fixed a bone and you didn't do that didn't even show up it. on Christina's scans. You don't want to know what happens if he didn't do that. Would you let him operate on your daughter? The arterial flow is showing... No signs of obstruction. Good news is you're showing different signs of improvement. Does that mean I'll be able to move my legs soon? Neurosurgery is just a little more difficult than what you do. Breaking kneecaps just to shake people down. Here, I'm gonna act like you didn't say that. I'm gonna go see my daughter. Don't you think you've done enough damage to Christina already, Sonny? Your daughter needs a parent, Sonny. Not some out-of-control thug who makes everything worse. Can it get any worse? Code gray. My daughter comes four, in here dizzy four, three, eight. and comes out of your brother's OR crippled. Your daughter crippled. came in here because of you. Do you understand that? Matt fixed damage that you caused. He gave her a chance at a normal life. I want to check on that. I'll get back to you. Doctor yeah. Henry you do that. Five, seven. Dr. Tyler Henry called 25. Post-surgical swelling is common in a case like this with an intrusive procedure. But when the swelling goes down, her movement will be restored, correct? Yes, I thought I already made that point clear. I'll be back to check on you shortly. Anything in the meantime, don't hesitate to call a nurse. Okay, thanks. You were asking me if I still talk to your father? Well, I actually...
actually spoke to Sonny not too long ago. About you, as a matter of fact. Let me guess. He was defending that I was hurt in the car bomb that he had his men put in Johnny's car. Actually, your father was just talking about the amazing trip he's going to take you on as soon as you get out of here. Isn't that right? We should do a trip. Just you and me. You know, I mean, when you feel better. I'm kind of busy with school, but thanks for the offer. No, I understand. I mean, college comes first. Education is nothing more important than education. Look at the great example of Miss Kate Howard here. But I'm thinking maybe if you had some time, you know, life experience, culture, different places, it's just that that's a good education, too, you know. I've, I've been wanting to take you someplace. Never say anything. Because I want you to be old enough, it's, it's right off the coast of the island, take a little boat there, right? And it's a little strip of property. You stand on one side and watch the sunset while the moon rises on the other side. Well, that sounds beautiful. And then, you know, the, the sky is almost dark and the, the water is very calm. On one side of you, you feel like peace. The other side, you feel like hope. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, I gotta tell you. It's when I first realized that there's gotta be a God, because something's gotta make the world go around, you know? Something's gotta balance everything out. No matter how, how down you feel, where you are in your life, you, you, when you're there, you always feel like a, you're part of something bigger. Would you want to go with me, maybe, sometime? Doctor. Do I have a security call? No, no, no. I just want, I want to apologize. My, my daughter's sick. She's going through a lot. I took her on, uh, on the wrong guy, and I'm, I'm sorry. There may just be hope for you after all. <laughs>